This poem is called The Flute's Great Melancholy Melody. The tempo has been selected for this troublesome piece. Adagio. The symphony plays in piano. Then crescendo! The cymbals crash. Their cries ring out through the stage never truly leaving as a note is taken up by a single oboe. The mournful tone sounds for a lifetime. That is, until a silver thin flute takes up the line. It sounds rather cheerful with not a bit of sorrow as she plays her part with a spirit that is truly divine. Such gusto for such a petite woodwind that her dance of notes is silenced by a harsh blare. A trumpet and trombone waltz in, keeping the flute in between. She peeps the final note, and her solo ends there. The trumpet blares, screeches, and taunts her so, while the trombone gives haughty laughs of torment. She tries to play her solo again, but the trumpet has reached fortissimo. Instead of speaking out, she leaves in a shuffle of movement. She knows that she must cope with the laughs and blares, but she must play once a day her melancholy melody. Her song can only be heard and played by her. Forever her song, much like her once bright spirit, must be brevity.